When we were sleeping, then I just feel something, and then when I try to wake up, I get too many. The wall it just fall down on me and my brother. When I try to get up, I can't. New details at five as a Miami man tells us about a terrifying ordeal when a car crashes into his home and bursts into flames. All three people inside the vehicle did not survive. This happened on 82nd Street in Miami at Northeast Third Avenue, and that's where CBS 4's Peter Dench has been speaking with that survivor and joins us live with the story. Peter? Well, Lauren Jackner Serlin tells me that he and his two brothers and mother and grandmother were all sleeping with a car crashed into their duplex at the time. It caught them by surprise because it was right around 5 in the morning. We also understand that uh, Serlin vividly remembers the wall collapsing after the crash. A blaze engulfs this car just after 5 in the morning. It woke up some neighbors. When I first heard the loud boom, I was like, wow, somebody, somebody done hit somebody's car. Um, but then I looked through the window, and that's when I seen the fire. Miami police say the driver lost control and plowed into the bedroom wall of this duplex on 82nd Street and Northeast 3rd Avenue. The vehicle was westbound. The driver and two passengers did not survive. Jackner Serlin, who was inside this home, says he went to the hospital after being injured. I got too many pain all right there. I got too many pain right there. Serlin says he and his brother were in the same room. When we were sleeping, then I just feel something. And then when I try to wake up, I get too many. The wall, it just fall down on me and my brother. When I try to get up, I can't. As the fire devoured this car, Serlin grabbed a fire extinguisher. I try to spray on the car. I keep spraying, keep spraying until it get done. The fire not even die. Serlin's mother was in a different room and says she was startled when she saw the damage that was done. I saw the wall and said, whoa, get out, get out. I only had the awareness to grab my passport. A witness called 911 and later told us she saw an officer run towards the burning car. Officer comes, he runs out, he clearly throws his car into park mode and tries to get someone out. Serlin says he is grateful he survived. I feel better now than I was in the morning. Now, Serlin and his family will need a temporary place to stay until the building is deemed safe. The Red Cross is offering to help them. Miami police have identified the three people in the car who died. They are between 22 and 23 years old. Coming up at 6 in just one hour, Miami police believe the speed was a factor in this accident. We'll have much more on that part of the story. We're live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.